Next, three local entrepreneurs will pitch their ideas to local moguls. They will compete for over $30,000 in cash and awards to take their Wisconsin business to the next level. These are the moguls. I need to figure out how you're making money. You're really doing something special. What are you looking for from us? Mm -hmm. Who can we help the most? Jerry Gendusa is the former CEO of MTech, now founder of Stuck, providing breakthrough strategies for businesses and entrepreneurs and author of Get Unstuck. You have to have passion, you have to have a drive. A lot of people will tell you what you can't do, and taking risks is all a part of being an entrepreneur. Debbie Allen owned McDonald's franchises, then founded DNA Networks, an executive coaching firm. Always focus on what it is that customers need. It's not only important to get customers, but you gotta be able to keep them and grow them as well. If you've heard one call, that's all. You know David Gruber, founder of Gruber Law Offices. Entrepreneurs are driven, and it's amazing how so many folks have been able to change the world, just one person at a time, one idea at a time. Peggy Ann is the head visionary and founder of Life Moves, a concierge move managing company. She was also the co-owner of Empire Level Manufacturing. The best thing you can do as an entrepreneur, act on an idea. This is Project Pitch It. Hi, Moguls. Hello. Hello. Hello there. I'm Mary Pelletier. I'm the founder of Top Note Craft Mixers, founded in Milwaukee in 2015. Have you ever had this experience? Go to a great bar or restaurant, order a great cocktail, and decide when you get home, I want to make that cocktail again. You get home, you realize, I've got the right liquor, I've got the right glassware, I even have the fancy garnishes. But for a mixer, I have this. Ooh. Not so high quality. You have a commoditized soft drink made with high fructose corn syrup, sodium, loaded with sugar, and fake flavor. I left a career of 25 years in the craft beer business to fix this problem. I started Top Note Tonic with a focus on quality. We make five unique all natural flavors in multiple formats. And we please the most finicky of bartenders in Milwaukee, Madison, Chicago. They're thrilled with what we're doing. We use real juices, all natural bitters, you, great botanical essences. And retailers have taken notice. Whole Foods, Fresh Time, Woodman's, Sendex locally, even Lambeau Field. But to grow from a regional brand to a national brand, we can use some help. The beverage business is not for wimps. We need about $750,000 in equity investment, and we would love to be introduced to some great investors locally. Who would like to taste? All right oh. here, Mary. <laughs> that, was, that was very <laughs> quick. Lush, right? Here's Ross. He's my um, Hi, great Hi, Ross. Uh, sales rep so in Chicago. A classic tonic on your left That's here. Okay. Mary, how many employees do you currently have? Where did the name Top Note come from? Sure. I've got um, actually three full-time employees as well as myself and my other co-founder. And we uh, started the name out of the, really the desire to connote quality. Top note actually means those first aromas and flavors that you smell. When you smell wine or beer or great spirit, the top notes are the first things you smell. So what are the different flavors? Sure, we've got a ginger beer, a grapefruit, and a classic tonic water. And then we also have two other unique tonics made with different bitters, an Indian tonic water and a bitter lemon. So Mary, if you receive $750,000 of cash, how would you put that money to work to make your business scale? Well, we need help in sales and marketing. Anyone knows the beverage business, uh, to grow at retail, you actually need to provide that first product to the retailers for free. Okay. So that's actually where a lot of the marketing dollars go. You buy your points of distribution. Out of $750,000, how many free samples? What dollar value? $100,000 for samples? Yeah, actually 30% to marketing, another 30% just to help with my sales and marketing staff. And our revenue right after one year was right, right around $150,000. What does the competitive landscape look like, speaking of competitors? There's a few out there, and they're going to grow. If you look at the European set, there's hundreds of these smaller tonic and mixer co companies out there. But we want to be the American craft version of that. Now, what made you get into this business? When I was in the beer indus industry, I was young enough still to have babies, and I was pregnant. And I decided, um, you know, when you're out and about and you can't drink, this, I was drinking tonic uh, at the bars. and just thought it tasted awful. And I thought, we really need an adult beverage that people can come when they're not drinking to drink. That actually is also a trend, besides the fact that yes. people want to go home and make great
cocktails mm -hmm. simply, they also want to drink great non-alcoholic products that actually make them feel like they're drinking. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, moguls. Thanks so much for your time and cheers. Cheers, cheers to, you. to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Experience in the industry, a secret sauce, mm -hmm. developed in-house, and some real product differentiation. And she's really got it together. Yep. A yep. niche market too. Mm -hmm. And a real niche, niche market. market. Yes. Yep. And she has a good point because if you want to go to a bar and you want to have a drink and it's uh, a non-alcoholic drink, there aren't many choices and you're really trying to figure out, okay, what do I mix together? And yeah. It's, and it's based on what the bar has as well. And so, you know, if they have something like this where it's just a one-shot product, mm -hmm. it's a it's, um, good option. But like she says, she needs to scale it. She needs to scale it. She needs mm -hmm. a fair amount of capital. Right. Mm -hmm. To be able to do some market testing, give freebies away in the grocery stores to get it on their shelves in, in the market. She seems to have the roadmap, frankly. Right. I mean, she's been around uh -huh. the block a lot yes. with this, well, but the question here. is how many places can she get at the door? I think you can never underestimate who your desired customer is. Right and how to really go to market. Mm -hmm. Last season, we were introduced to Truman McGee and his funky fresh spring rolls. Since his appearance on Project Pitch It, Truman has opened a new restaurant inside the Grand Avenue in Milwaukee. Since Project Pitch It aired, our business direction changed from us being, uh, wanting to become a food manufacturer to actually open up our first restaurant. And we did that May of 2018. Since then, we've hired six more employees. So we got a total of 12 people working for us. We've doubled our sales. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. And with that, it has further legitimized our business, had us a permanent location where people go find their funky fresh goodness. I get stopped all the time on the street and say, hey, aren't you the guys on that one show or whatever? And we get to talking about Project Pitch. It has definitely helped increase sales. Here you go. Thank you, Project Pitch It, for giving us the opportunity to grow our business. I'm extremely thankful and grateful for the opportunity and I'm looking forward to watching some more awesome shows and awesome entrepreneurs grow their business. Up next, this company has a solution to help parents of children with special needs. And later, this veteran-owned business has a one-of-a-kind product and is looking to scale up. You have to have passion, you have to have a drive you have to have a desire to be successful at what you do. And then most importantly, you really have to know what it is that you're doing and who it is you're doing it for. My name is Deb Thompson and I'm the mother of an adult son with autism. And I'm Laura Berkner, a medical professional that cares for people with disabilities. And together, we created STEMI. STEMI means voice in German and we are giving a voice to those who cannot communicate for themselves, especially people with autism or cognitive disabilities. STEMI is helping caregivers understand the ones we love. My son Evan has complex issues and he has 15 caregivers in four organizations that we work with. And it can be overwhelming for me um, to keep up with everybody so that I can explain my son to them. Uh, in the past, I have used a binder to help his caregivers to train them and a notebook to help the team with their communication. Currently, the caregiver industry is using this. It's very hard and tedious to keep up to date and not always effective, and this is a problem. And we created a solution. STEMI allows a parent to go to the website STEMI.net and create a care center for their child. Instead of notebooks, I input all the information into the website, along with instructional videos that show people how to care for my son. I then contact all the people that Evan works with via email and invite them into his care center, people such as Laura. So as a caregiver, I can now use my phone or computer to read Evan's care center. I can watch the instructional videos, and this helps me really get to know him before I ever meet him. Additionally, within the app, we have a messaging center that allows all the caregivers to communicate in real time. The idea of eliminating uh, miscommunications or distortions or the incredible aggravation of having to say it again and again and again, yes. we appreciate mm -hmm. that. You know, some of the best ideas come out of meeting a need, and here you've met your own personal need yeah. by creating something that has, can help you and potentially can help, you know, thousands and countless of others. So yes, I applaud you on that. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. We appreciate your time. What a product. Oh my goodness. And what a genuine concern to help others with the current situation that they're going through. Well, I'll tell you what one of my concerns with that is because when you want to make sure that something is front and center, as an example, people's medications change every single solitary day. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. something that was okay four or six yeah. weeks ago and that's in the records. If they're jumbled by them organizing, I mean, point. you know what I wrote down? Structure, sameness, continuity. If you have the greatest hits, the most important thing right there, mm -hmm. you can make sure that that person that's is so not true. starting over. So this angle could be more towards the parents or the families than yeah. the medical care providers. Absolutely. And for the exactly. ones that want peace of mind, they're going to be willing to take the to time perhaps. Oh, of exactly. course. Fascinating company. Yes. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. And what it really means is that 99%, 99.9% .9 of us are all identical. But it's that one tenth of a percent that makes us each unique and different. And I believe that entrepreneurs bring that unique one tenth of a percent to the table with their ideas, their thoughts, and just what they want to do to change and shape the world. Next, this veteran owned company has a unique new product aimed at motorcycle riders. Entrepreneurs are driven, uh, they're so committed, they're passionate, and it's amazing how so many folks have been able to change the world just one person at a time, one idea at a time. Wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right. This is an entrance we haven't had before. Totally, totally. <laughs> Beautiful bike, by the way. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> it's an awesome bike. Hello, moguls. I'm Nick Loomis. And I'm his wife, Fabriana Loomis. And we own CM Scullies. CM Scullies is a patent pending beanie and headband design that we manufacture in Racine, Wisconsin. Mm. It came about out of necessity for me because back in 2005, I was injured by a mortar strike in Iraq and, and it blew the left side of my body up, putting over a thousand pieces of shrapnel in me, perforating my left eardrum and paralyzing my left leg from knee down. So basically, I came home, I was in a really bad spot, and motorcycling had always been a passion of mine. So I started back getting into motorcycle riding and I came along a, a big problem. The problem was every time I'd get into the cool wind, I would lose equilibrium and I would want to fall over and I'd want to crash and I even dumped my wife off the bike one time. Just one or three, it's okay. <laughs> so Details. <laughs> yeah. Details. I don't like the full face mask. I have problems with my left eye. I need my peripheral vision, so I don't like full face helmets. I do wear a half helmet, but in Wisconsin, not being a helmet law, me being kind of an adrenaline junkie, I like to go <laughs> without it. It's one, it's one of those things where it's the most freeing experience and it's part of motorcycling for me. Wow. We created a hat design that allows you to wear it through it so that it doesn't rise up. It, doesn't, it takes the pressure off the back of your ears and as well as it eliminates the air gap. So there's no air gap. When you put it on this way, it creates an air gap, wants to rise up oh, off your head. Yes. What you're doing is awesome. Well, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate yes. that. Nobody else has anything like this on no. the market today. No. And you don't have to be a motorcycle rider to want no. to wear that. No. But like snowboarders and, and action sports mm -hmm. as well. People that work outdoors, construction workers, it works well under hard hats. I think Peggy Ann, do you have a pink one? Because she <laughs> might... We actually, actually do yeah, if you guys, we, we have, guys have samples like, for have you samples. guys. I think yes. Peggy Ann trying one on with your glasses would be ideal. Well, we have we have a beanie for you, Jerry. Oh, oh really? Man, oh, wow. 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 And that's our, that's our brand new polar fleece design. Oh, wow. So that so does wonderful. have our product on it. Okay. The question that I have, how many current products do you have? Where is the product going to be manufactured? Well, currently we're manufacturing in Racine. We are looking to get a bigger facility so that we can expand production. Right now we're at about 150 to 200 pieces a month is what our capacity is. Um, we have the beanie. We have the, the polar fleece headband that is actually going to launch this weekend. What are your sales channels? Um, so right now we are in five Harley Davidsons um, throughout Wisconsin and we also are e-commerce. We're looking to expand that with other retailers as well. We wanted to expand into a storefront so that we'd have our own retail shop and then branch off and partner with other retailers too. I've golfed for 30 years 
And it's on with the sunglasses and off with the sunglasses because I can't putt with the sunglasses on. Nice thing about it too, Peggy. Now they don't they fall I can bend down. down. Yeah. And my glasses aren't going anywhere. So what are we selling these for? Retail is $20. However, House of Harley is the only retailer that we have right now that's selling them for $24.95. What are you currently looking for? Yes. How can we help you? We're so looking to scale up. Honestly, we, we need more, more product, so we need that, and we also would like to buy more equipment so that we can manufacture more, more beanies at a higher rate. That's great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your time. Thank you so oh, thank much. You guys. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Wait a minute. First of all, David. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you look Oh, my God. You, David just looks like he should be sitting there. I don't think this should be on no, the billboard, be personally. <laughs> <laughs> I could see major manufacturers wanting to license this product. Oh, yeah. There is no end if you wear sunglasses That's for something. I mean, when yeah. I do my street photography, my glasses go up and down, too. When I golf, same thing, up and down. And to me, it's marketing, 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 and more marketing is needed. Their niche is enormous. They're, yeah. Right. yeah. Very interesting. I think the best thing you can do as an entrepreneur is to recognize the fact that there is no box. If you put yourself and think there is a box, you're already putting yourself in it. There is no box and it lets your mind be free to come up with all kinds of ideas that you're going to need to navigate your future in business. Coming up, the moguls break down the pitches. Now the moguls decide which award will best serve each entrepreneur and help them create the next great Wisconsin business. The Project Pitchet Award is $10,000 in cash. The Stritch Pitch Award includes business classes at Cardinal Stritch University, office space, and staff support for 12 months. The Pitch In Award includes the moguls hosting a forum featuring investors and experts in marketing, finance, and networking. David, we're going to start with you first. <laughs> I'd like for you to look me in the eyes. I am. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. I've been looking you in the eye. <laughs> Top note tonics. What were your thoughts about them? I think she knows the game. Mm -hmm. I like the product. I like that it's healthier. How anyone, whether it be us, someone else, some experts could help her is basically, I think she needs some money so she could be on the shelves and in the big places. Mm -hmm. That simple. I, I, I don't think anyone's going to tell her much that she doesn't already know. Right. Plus all the marketing mm -hmm. to scale that nationally. Right. If you got a good product, it yeah. costs money to put it together and give it to somebody. Mm -hmm. Top note is top shelf. I won't charge you much for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but um bum. Stimmy. 3.5 million people diagnosed with autism and very complicated for the parents or the caregiver, whoever. So it's definitely a, an awesome product. I would want to see that work. Yes. Personally, I, and I know hundreds of people who would want to see that work. Absolutely. That is the most selfless thing mm -hmm. I've seen in a yeah. long time. And it's, yes. it's easy to say that, but what that would do for society, who doesn't want to see that work? Yeah. Caveman Scullies, where do you go with it and how do you get it there? That's my question. He has to be able to scale this product, you know, so that he can um, produce more. Because if you think about it, um, he's only uh, right now appealing to like the motorcycle community yes. because that's his passion. He loves, you know, riding bikes, but it has such widespread appeal yes. in terms of usage. And, and so we've got to be able to, to scale it and, and help him build capacity. I think of white labeling it or private labeling it for oh. other, other organizations. Yeah. You mentioned Peggy Harley. Yeah. Why I'm, wouldn't you private label it for Harley? I'm or maybe a little they worried are. about somebody else wanting to take this over from him very quickly because this could be huge. It's perplexing to me as to what award goes to which company. We have cash, we have strategy, we have access to capital and contacts. And to be honest, I don't know who gets what. They all need strategy and focus. Yeah, they all strategy. need that. Mm -hmm. Focus. Yes. Yep. The only thing that I'm struck Great. by David is your look. Really? Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. It's I, hard I'm, to stay focused. I'm on this emotional roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, the Moguls Award over $30,000 in cash and prizes.
Wisconsin companies, Wisconsin entrepreneurs, you make me very proud to be from this wonderful state. The entrepreneurial journey is tough. There's a need for cash, there's a need for strategy. The moguls have gotten together and have made some decisions. Peggy. Okay, we have a Project Pitch It Award. It's $10,000 in cash. Does anybody not want $10,000 in cash? I think we'd all be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> give everybody, everybody here. Well, only one company gets it. Caveman Skull. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so we much. We appreciate it. We do. Very much so. So I get to award the Stritch Pitch Award, and the Stritch Pitch Award provides free office space as well as staff support for an entrepreneur for up to 12 months at Cardinal Stritch University. And this award goes to STEMI. Laura Thank and you. Deb, we really feel that you guys would benefit from having an opportunity to develop your strategy mm -hmm. and a great marketing campaign so that you can get your product out to the right people and, um, and just let, let it scale and, and go to market. Thank you. So That's congratulations great. to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I guess that leaves me. <laughs> All righty. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't take your hat off, David. I'd like to see David with hat hair. The struggle is real with that. <laughs> struggle is real, huh? Struggle is real with that. First of all, before we move on, Nick, I'd like to thank you. We would all like to thank you very, very much for your service. Well, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Very it's very humbling. Yeah. Thank you. The Pitchin Award. Pitchin Award. What is the Pitchin Award? We're going to try and help the moguls. We're gonna to get together with some real experts, some people who have experience. We're gonna try and figure out how to get some capital. Okay, that's really what it's all about. One of the things we talked about was experience, product differentiation. You know your market so well. It's a great product, it's healthier, you know the game, you know the ropes. So we wanna put you in the very, very best position to succeed and to succeed big time. So. Thank you, thank everyone, and we wish you the very best of luck. We really do, thank and we're gonna do all we can to help. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations to all. Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you wanna support these entrepreneurs, visit our website to learn more about their products and companies. If you have an idea for the next great Wisconsin business, we wanna hear from you. Visit projectpitchit.com.